If the Ukrainian defenders manage to dig in at Kursk, then the battles on this section of the front will be the same as in Ukraine. The enemy will try to move forward, suffering colossal losses. Western military experts report that during the offensive battles, the Ukrainian armed forces suffered greater losses in military equipment and manpower than the enemy, Forbes reports. However, at the same time, a large territory came under the control of the Ukrainian armed forces and the exchange fund was replenished not with hundreds, but with thousands of occupiers. Analysts write that on average, the enemy loses up to four tanks and eight armoured vehicles daily on the battlefield. In battles on the territory of Ukraine, the Ukrainian armed forces lost one tank and three armoured vehicles. However, in just nine days of fighting in Kursk, the Ukrainian armed forces have lost four tanks and 41 armoured vehicles. Among the losses are a British Challenger II tank and American Striker armoured vehicles. Such large losses are unusual for the Ukrainian armed forces, but Kiev assumed that they would happen since this was not a defence, but an offensive operation. Moreover, Kiev is ready to accept such losses if the main goals are achieved. Ukraine's main goal is to obtain Kursk region as a bargaining chip in future negotiations with the Kremlin. In the future, experts write, the advance of the Ukrainian armed forces will slow down and the Ukrainian defenders will go on the defensive. Then the enemy will again begin to suffer heavy losses and the war will resemble the one we are now seeing in the territory of Donbass when the enemy does not spare manpower and military equipment to achieve a result. So far, Ukrainian forces in Kursk have been tactically successful. Undertrained Russian infantry have again performed poorly when lacking command and control and confronted by a maneuvering opponent without fixed points of reference. Surrendering Russian platoons are a symptom of the poor cohesion that exemplified the Russian collapse in Kharkiv in 2022. While the Kursk operation is politically significant, a parallel series of Ukrainian strikes targeting Russian airfields is more militarily advantageous. Russian aircraft have been central to both the long-range strikes on Ukraine's critical national infrastructure and the glide bomb attacks on frontline positions that are inflicting heavy losses on Ukraine. Damaging planes is vital in reducing pressure on Ukraine's defenses. Vladivostok was hit by heavy rains, the city has 10-point traffic jams, in some places cars are completely submerged. In a number of areas, roads were flooded due to large amounts of precipitation in a short period of time. Services are currently continuing to carry out water drainage work. However, due to the incessant downpour, travel along some streets of Vladivostok remains difficult. The deposition of soil from the slopes onto the road is also recorded. After the rain stops, brush tractors and loaders will be sent out to remove them. The dirt road on Petrokol has turned into a real river. It is impossible to walk from the car to the entrance without getting soaked to the skin, strong thunderstorms are heard. Tram service has been suspended in Vladivostok due to heavy rain and flooding of a number of streets. In addition, on a section of the road in front of the Zapadny settlement in the Nadstinsky district, the driver of a Mazda Tribute, when attempting to drive on a flooded section under a bridge, did not take into account the extent of the flooding, as a result of which the car got stuck and then completely went underwater. Three people, two adults and one minor, were evacuated from the passenger compartment in a timely manner. The car was also recently pulled out of the water by concerned eyewitnesses. The Primorai Prosecutor's Office strongly recommends that drivers refrain from driving in areas where there is a current and there is no reliable data on the depth of the flooding and the relief of the road surface. Машина вот она крышка. Нереально, я до нее не дойду.